where the mid-level leaders have this yeah. fear that mm -hmm. what if I really put forth my values? Am I going to be, you know, is that going to be a, a, a de-accelerator for my career or for my for my uh, for my growth so that's sure. always where they get stuck right and that's a right. little bit of a tricky space how to get them to shift perspectives right no no you're very right it's also about doing the right thing uh, at the right pace in your career yes. and again for me it is about career happiness which is the end goal right i mean we talk about progress and you know moving on uh, in our careers and growing but if it doesn't have career happiness anywhere there in that formula right. not really worth it right which takes me back to their core values sometimes uh, some of my clients have to take on that next role even if it is not aligned to their values because the paycheck at the end of the month right sometimes it's as simple as that and which means that one of their core values is family right? They have to get that paycheck for that family, right? And so it's also about inviting them and letting them know that these values will go up and down. It doesn't always have to be in perfect balance. Yes. Right? And allow for it to change. It doesn't mean that it isn't a core value, right? Yeah. It just means that some other core value of yours is taking, uh, you know, precedence. Wonderful. Right and priority and allow for it because that is the most important thing there. So to your question, if it means that that promotion is going to get them uh, a higher paycheck or if it means staying back and working late hours for whatever particular project so that they can move forward, which again goes back to serving family as a core value, by all means. At that point, don't sit and compare, oh, I'm not having work-life balance and, you know, somebody else has, uh, you know, a better life than me. You are serving a core value of yours. Absolutely. Absolutely. Enjoy it. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful.